I'm gonna kick your ass.
are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Not quite as much of a ghost town as they say, is it? Good work staying calm and collected under pressure. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Not even for humanity? Not even for science? Hey, uh, how's it going? Damn it. Who told you? I, I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. Help? What's to help? So I'm a junkie. Big fucking deal. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. I... I guess you're right. I have to tell them about my problem, don't I? I just don't know what to say. I've been stealing from both of them for years to get my fix. Where do I even start? Well, I'll figure something out. Look, I want to thank you for your help. I guess it took a complete stranger to show me what an ass I've been. Take this key. It's to my private stash in the water treatment plant. Just get rid of the stuff. Burn it, sell it. I don't care what happens to it. Thanks. It'll be hard, but I'll do my best. Talk to you later, buddy. Vision, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yay, your suffering shall exist no longer. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that? At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. 
Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Have fun out there, okay? Welcome, welcome! My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. With you. Stay safe on the path you travel. Hey, we're looking for some slaves that ran off. Seen them? They can't have gone far. Yeah, okay, sure. If you see them, feel free to shoot them for me. Runners aren't worth the trouble of bringing them in. Oh! <laughs> 
Hey, man, what's going on? Catch you later. Yeah? Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy, Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Billy does. Have you met Billy, Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. They kill my real parents but Billy showed up before they got me and now he's like my daddy sort of it's okay I guess I used to live way far away when I was little before Billy found me I don't talk to most of them Billy says that I have to be careful even when people seem nice and I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho I usually play with Harden most days when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day too. Bye, mister. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Really, you did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Whoa, really? Raiders and robots? I guess I wasn't the only one to think about checking those stores. Looks like you gotta be careful looting them. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Taste kinda great after a while. Oh, oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink, um, more, um, better. Well, okay. If you feel you really need one. Absolutely. Have fun out there, okay? Oh, look. Another one of your pampered vault assholes. Look here, vault asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. You're from the outside. And I've lived too much of my life out there to trust every jackass nobody that wanders in from the wasteland. You seem alright, though. So I'll cut you a deal. I'll answer your questions so long as you don't give me any more reason to distrust you. Got it. I've said just about all I'm going to say about that. Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich as something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> A little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Whoa, 20 caps. Look at the big spender. All right then, I can see you're in it for the big money. 
So I'll tell you all about Moriarty. Moriarty, he's a rat fuck bastard for sure, but he's also paranoid as all hell. So paranoid that he don't let no one handle the cash around here. Every night he takes what Gob and Nova earn and locks it in a file cabinet next to his bed. Anytime, it'll be worth it to see the look on that asshole's face. Remember what I told you, kid. Moriarty keeps his money locked. There ain't much to tell. He used to live out in the wastes. He was a real bastard back then. But I've put all that behind me. What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Nah, yeah, you're right. Stupid idea anyway. Come back if you need something. I told you, Gob, What's it ain't up? the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Wait, is that... Damn it. Stupid radio. Goddamn radio. Work. Hey, Smoothskin, do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait, y you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me, not even berate me a little bit. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Moriarty's your best bet. I wish you luck. Now I have to get back to work or I'll be answering to him too. What is it? Hey. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face. But I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon? But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade if you ask me. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. I'm not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. 
It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that home? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say... A hundred cops. And Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. Excellent. Your dad raised a smart kid. Really no substitute for the love of a father, now is there? Speaking of dear old Dad, he went southeast, into DC to the Galaxy News radio station. A uh, good luck now. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Greetings, dearest America. This is your president, John Henry. That bastard. He's a He's a liar. He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Look, I used to work for that slob doing, you know, favors for guys. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Next morning he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. I am the voice. I am the heart. You'd do that for me? I can't believe it. You hardly even know me. Thanks, kid. You watch yourself out there. And so of America.